Welcome one and all back again to Fat Boy at the Forge. I am your wonderful host, Fat Boy. And in the last video, things kind of turned because, well, my angle grinder decided to. <laughs> so I got lucky enough that. I bought a little bit of a more powerful. And I think this one's kind of going to be a little better. How? I don't know, but I just got a gut feeling. Also, yes, if I'm going to adjust my shirt a little bit, it is a little tight. It was an old one that I had laying around. But where we start stopped in the last video was... This. So I'm going to continue to grind in the bevels. So it's heat treated. I cleaned it up. I put a edge on it. All that's left to do now is put the final grind on that and work on the handle. So he said two and a half feet. So like I said, there's a mark there. That makes this two and a half feet because I measured and double checked. So I need to cut that off, cut a slit in there for a thank you truck, cut a slit in there. It is currently like 100 degrees out and there is little wind so I am burning up. So let's do this. So I got that, now it's just to make the slit in there. So I got the wedge that I'm going to hammer in there, I've got that that's going to be the handle, still got to clean that up and that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, actually once I get that on, that way I don't take too much off. to see if it'll hold or if it dies here. I still obviously have to trim off that, but I just want to see if the blade will take a hit. Now the fun part, the handle. But got the handle softer. The corners aren't stabbing through. Still worried it's gonna snap, even though I left a lot of bulk up there. 
So, yeah, so two and a half feet, battle axe. Still gotta do a little bit more polishing, but honestly, I kinda like the rustic look. If you know what you wanna see me do next, drop a link down below. I'm really thinking about maybe a shield, but anything after that, drop a link down below. Uh, and I will always be back with better videos. Tip your waiter, tip your waiters or waitresses because the service industry is crap. And as always, peace. Purr.